Hey y'all, I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and welcome to today's video for the character creation course series. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to sculpt the nose. Now, if you've been following along with the course already up to this point, then we've created the face and it's time to start doing the facial details. But if you haven't been following along with the series, you should know two things. The first is that if you want to follow along directly, you can click on this card right up here and it will take you to the very first video in the course series. And if you don't have a tablet, I would highly recommend picking up a drawing tablet or a sculpting tablet because we have been sculpting up to this point and we're going to continue sculpting throughout the rest of the series. So if you don't have one, even though you can technically sculpt by mouse, it's a lot easier and your results will be a lot better if you have a pen and tablet. And you can check the links in the description for my recommendations on some beginner tablets. With that said, the only other piece of information that we have to talk about is that I am using a software called Pure Ref. It's pretty great for handling reference images and just showing you what you need in general. And with all sculpting, once you start getting in details, you definitely don't want to sculpt without reference images because it'll throw off some stuff. So we are going to be sculpting the nose today and we're going to be doing it using that reference image and the one behind our character that you can see that the concept artist provided. So without any further ado, Let's get started. Now, we originally added our nose by throwing some clay strips on the center of our face and then grabbing and pulling out the bottom and pushing in the top. And that got us a pretty good profile curvature from the right-hand side view or just from the side view in general. But from the front, it doesn't, doesn't quite look right. So what we need to do is actually pinch the nose together and then get more of the planes of the nose as we can see from our anatomy reference image. So what we're gonna do, hit control tab to bring up the pie menu and then jump into sculpt mode. All right, from there, grab the grab tool and we can start pinching in the nose profile. Now we can see from our reference over here that we don't wanna go super thin with our nose, but we do need it to be significantly thinner than it was before. And you know what? That is probably good for right now. Maybe flare out the base because what we're actually trying to do is get something that looks like a square a little bit and that's probably okay once we're satisfied with the general shape of our nose which we can do by just grabbing and pulling we want to turn to the side view and pull back on the skin on the inside of our nose right here the reason we want to do that is because the nose turned sideways does jut out from the face significantly and depending on the type of character you're creating you may want the nose to go a lot further so pulling away this like cheekbone area which we will then fix once we get into the next video going over the eyes and we'll touch up a little bit as we sculpt this bone section that connects to the top ridge of our nose pulling that away will actually help give you a more realistic model overall so we have pulled away we've got the ridge of our nose the way we want it to be so let's go to the bottom here hit k to grab the snake hook brush shrink our mesh down and it's important to note that we have dynamic topology turned on with brush detailing so then we can just kind of pull this in and go down just a little bit and that'll give us an overall shape of the nose like we want it to have we can then smooth that out and i think that's a little bit better from here we want to go ahead and start sculpting the planes of the nose so we have a pretty significant plane right up here this is the bone so we'll sculpt in a plane for that bone section and we'll come to the side and sculpt that in and then we can also kind of continue that down towards the face and then smooth all of that out and that'll get us a decent bone ridge connection for our face that's not quite perfect but we can kind of pinch and pull that together using the grab tool Actually, I'm happy with that. So let's pull this up a little bit more from the side and there we go. Now, noses are difficult and faces take some time. So if you don't get it right away and you're not happy with it, continue tweaking it until it looks like you want it to look like. And if you don't have a backup of the sculpted head, I recommend undoing your work and creating a backup just in case. Because sometimes, at least when I was preparing for this video, I found myself sculpting and realizing I hated what I had sculpted. And so having a backup that I could just duplicate and start fresh from was ridiculously useful. So go ahead, make sure you have your backup and let's continue sculpting the planes of the nose. Now the nose is broken up kind of into four sections here. We have the bone plate, which we've done. And actually I'm gonna pull out just a bit. We'll finish that up with some scraping and some flattening out of that bone ridge. So we have section one, which is gonna do something like that. Then we have section two, which comes in like this and is basically cartilage. And this is where the nose starts being able to bend and break and things like that. 
And then we have another section right here. These are the flares of our nose. And then the rest of this is kind of going to be this final section right up here. So we have finished off this section. We're good to go on that. And let's come down here to the flares just because it's pretty easy to do. So we'll create our little flare out right here. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. We'll smooth that down and then create the next section in just adding some real quick roughed sculpt planes to this. And then we can come in here and kind of match that with that next section. So if we back up, we can already see things are a little wonky. So what we need to do now is grab and pull these sections in and smooth things out. Now, once we've smoothed that out, we actually have the beginnings of a pretty decent nose. And based off our reference image, we have a pretty heavy ridge here. That ridge is being maintained by our sculpture and then we have it pulled away from the face quite nicely and we have some pretty big flaring nostril but let's finish up with the overall shape of the nose so we're going to come in here push this in a little bit hit shift c to grab the crease brush and we're just going to add a little crease along the bottom of our nose here just to mimic reality and then grab the blob brush and put in some holes here for the nose something like that is probably going to be good enough for now. And we can look at this from the side. Now, the uh, bottom part of the nose, I think this is called the septum, does come down a little bit lower than the overall nostril, but I think that might be a little too low. And we can just readjust the shape of our nose as we feel it's needed. Come in here and smooth that out a bit. And then look at this from the bottom to see if we actually have the real nose shape. Now, as I'm doing that, I see that the curvature of the face for our lips isn't quite where I want it to be. So I'm just moving that down, but that is actually probably pretty good good. But if you're not happy with it, if you're not happy with the overall feel of the nose, keep tweaking it. And if you like the feel of the nose, but you don't necessarily like how wide it is, grab the elastic deform brush and kind of pull and push in accordingly. It's a bit better at pinching these things than the grab brushes once you've got the general shape defined. And you, if you want to maintain that general shape, the elastic deform brush will do that a lot better than the grab brush. But let's go ahead and put on some final details for this brush. So I've grabbed the scrape tool and we're going to just shrink our brush down and scrape in some of these planes a little bit more to give us a much more realistic ridge for our nose. We can take this down a little further and just scrape along the inside here and then smooth all of that out. And that'll give us a flatter top of our nose, which will then go into a much more rounded cartilage flexible section. It'll add some niceness to the nose overall. And we can scrape this out a little bit, smooth it down, and there we go. All right, so I'm good with the overall shape of the nose, and overall, I think things are good. I just wanna, we wanna pull this section up here a little bit because the bone doesn't quite go that far. I'm gonna smooth that down. All right, the last thing I wanna do for the nose is put in this little extra section here. So if you look at the, the anatomy reference that we have, you can see that the bone goes up and then curves out. And if you look on most people, what you actually notice is there is an indentation right here where the bone meets the, uh, the skull. So we want to actually create that indentation a little bit. So we're going to look from the bottom up and we're just going to sculpt up this indentation right up here. And then we're going to carry that over to the eyebrows. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of create that crease here and move this over to our eyebrows, smooth all of that out, and get a real look at how that's supposed to look. Probably pretty good. Blend that in a little bit with the rest of the forehead, and we're good. Now we do have to fix the eyes and work on the eyes overall, but I think that's probably good to go. So for a 10 minute tutorial sculpting a nose and walking you guys through my thought process, I'm pretty happy with this. And looking at it from the right view and the front, I'm I'm pretty okay with it. In fact, I would say I'm generally happy with this nose and that is my marker to move on. Now I may do some final tweaks between this video and the next video, but for the most part, I'm probably gonna leave it pretty much exactly how it is. And the reason for that is that you can only get so good working on a particular body part or detail for any particular sculpt. So there's no point in really trying to perfect it. Once you're happy with it, move on. And the next time you go to sculpt that particular object, nose, ears, eyes, whatever, you'll be better at it. And so your sculpture will look better because your skills will have improved. So don't sit and try to grind out and make sure your nose is absolutely perfect. Just get to a point where you're happy with it and you can move on. All right, guys, I'm Sir Pinkbeard. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video where I show you how to sculpt the eyes.